say that this this final place is really lacking. Oh dip. Well, you're finally here. Took you long enough. As a matter of fact, it took you so long that there's nothing you can do to stop me now. Oh, little paper cranes. Brother, are you still planning more terrible things? Yeah, who do you think you are, folding me up and my minions like that? Like you could keep all this from busting loose. Anyway, where's Princess Peach? Is she safe? Is she comfortable? Does she have something to read? Asking for a friend. <laughs> what? Why do I hear a heartbeat? Hold on. Yeah, it's a heartbeat. Ew, what? They're paper, why? Oh, the princess is right in front of you. Behold. <gasps> oh, did. I told you, didn't I? That I wouldn't transform all of Peach's castle into an origami castle, including the princess herself. She's at one with the castle now. Beautiful, precious, and silent. I'm sure she's happier this way. A monster! Putting Princess Peach into the castle is too much! You've gone too far! Couldn't possibly do anything worse. Except... Wait... Huh? All those paper cranes! You wouldn't! She does look better, actually. She looks really cool. I would. And I did witness the thousand cranes technique. He who has the patience to fold a thousand origami cranes shall have any wish granted. That is the real ultimate power, and I shall use it to turn every last one of those wretched toads into mere blank paper. What? It's crazy talk. The toads can't come back from that, you know? I wouldn't even do that. I've done some mean stuff, believe me. Ask Kamek. I still don't understand what you've got against the toads. Me either. Weather? Weather, I'm gonna need you to back off, okay? We are at the end of the game. Just give me like two more hours, alright? It shouldn't even take me that long. Just give me two hours, please. But yeah, what? why is he so racist against the toads in particular? Do you even realize that even you were originally folded by a toad? Of course I do. Yeah, I figured. He's the whole reason for uh, doing this. That full disrespect of the very paper I'm made of. He scribbled all over it? Now I bear the hideous scar of his negligence and disregard for origami. And he shall pay. Is that why he has the- That's why he has the anime emo hair over his eye? Because it's all effed up? Yeah, that's why you're doing this? Even if you're mad at him, why take it out on all the other toads? Have you seen one toad? You've seen them all. They're all the same to me. Is this- wait a minute. Is this a- Is King Ollie just like... Nintendo's insert OC way of being like, this is what the audience who <laughs> plays our games sound like to us? <laughs> Fucking rude. Rude Nintendo. That's why I have to turn them all into blank pieces of scrap paper. So I never have to see a single one of their stupid faces again. That is my vision for a glorious origami kingdom. As for you, Mario, you've proven to be quite annoying. But there's nothing you can do now to stop me. Already, 999 of my cranes are complete. After I defeat you... Oh no, he has a normal eyeball. I'll honor your paper by folding you into the very last crane. Oh, the music. Your adventure ends here, Mario. I will fulfill my dream. If you unfold willingly, I shall bend you to my will by force. Stop that little jerk. Oh. He can turn into the elementals too.
purple turtle. Wait, what? That's a shape with the earth elemental. Indeed, I master the techniques of every bibliophold. Now, witness how a king wields these powers. My brother sounds or my brother sounds excited. I can't be good for us. Be careful, Mario. Look, Mario, it's one of those super special magic circles. I might be able to turn into any of the elementals now. The question is, what elemental will we want to turn into? Because there's so many. Assuming we want to turn into a elemental. Should we fight Earth with Earth? Water with earth? Sounds good. I don't think fire would be good. And ice is a mess. I'll do I'll do water. I'll do water. Let's see, let's see how this does. attack won't affect me in this form. Oh yeah, I love Chubby Dragon. Chubby Water Dragon is the best, and it's chubby because he's, he's, he's full of water weight, and I love it. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of damage. Still standing, huh? I'll soon fix that. There's no hints for me either, so I have to I have to like legit figure this out. What if we flip him on his back? Can we do that? Because he's a turtle? Has your memory failed you? That trick won't work while my legs are exposed. He's gonna make this easy for us, is he? We have to think of a way to stop him in his tracks. Do we... Is this basically, like, all of the elementals, again, where we have to attack his legs? First. I hit boots. I hit boots instead of- I hit boots instead of the hammer! Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. I stupidly hit boots instead of the hammer. Wow, look at how much time it gives us. Give me hearts. Thank you. That's what we have to do. It's basically the... It's the developmental fights all over again. Predictable and disappointing. Did you think I would prepare? No? Okay, but what do we- what do we do? What do we do? I'm gonna die! <laughs>
HP just replenished itself? Do you see now? You stand in a realm of pure origami, and I am in control. The longer you hesitate, the more I'll recover. Better think fast. <laughs> That's truly evil. You've got to be kidding me. How is that fair? Stay calm, Mario. We can do this. Just breathe and arrange those rings as fast as you can. Go, go, go! That's truly evil. Alright, let's try to fight fire with fire. Is that is that like the, the poetic justice we're supposed to do here? Is that is that we're supposed to do earth elemental versus earth elemental? Because if not, then we're dead. Or at least we lose the one up life, which sucks, but Didn't hurt him. Oh, great. Cool. Cool beans. So, like, that did nothing. Uh, give him a strongly worded letter asking him to stop. <laughs> It's getting, it's getting to that point where I'm like, um, please. Gave me a mushroom? Okay, I was like, I was like, I need help. Thank you. I need immediate help. Okay, run around, grabs the health. Try hitting a foot. We hit his tail, and that didn't do much. We hit his- he hit his shell, didn't do anything. Maybe if we hit his face next time too. We haven't tried doing that either. It's the legs. It's the legs! No, he put his leg back out! What is happening? What kind of boss battle is this? Please give me more health. They didn't. I don't know if the fight's scripted or something. I really don't. Like, are, am I supposed to lose? I uh, maybe? But I'm not- it's not gonna happen for a long time if that's the case, because it keeps healing me. Alright, let's try his face. Let's give him a good old bath in the face. Bapping his face also did nothing. What? So we have- okay. We have two more Velementals that we can use. We have two more we still haven't done. We have the ice one, and we have the fire one. I feel like the ice one would be our best bet? He heals himself, so it's like, uh, okay. So the shitty thing is, I don't even think we can... Okay, 
now we're talking. Move number one, two, and then shit. <laughs> There we go. Okay, if I can't figure it out in the next two turns, I, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so we used earth, we used water. Let's do ice and then fire. Fire doesn't make any sense to me. And if that's the answer, I'm gonna be mad. Okay. Oh, he's frozen. <gasps> have we have we started figuring it out? <laughs> We're getting somewhere. And now I think we beat the- I need health. There we go, thank you. Okay. I think we... There. the schnoz out of them. Well, that did something. He didn't like that. Huh. Not bad. Time to switch tactics. Gosh, it's a polar bear wearing clothes. Oh, the ice elemental. You would. You would. You would do that to me. Carefully memorize the safest route. I'm so bad at this part. I like to work backwards, so we need this. And I remember this, so the on button didn't move. That needs to go there. We move up to the left, go down to the right, up and to the left again. Before we do that, we should have healed first. It's a good thing I got a lot of money to burn. I have to hurry before he heals too, that's another thing. It's another really shitty thing. Like that. Who's calling me? No one important. There. Just went back to full health. And I think it's pretty obvious we need to use the fire one here. The turtle one is not obvious. I don't know what it expected of me. It's either the fire or the earth they want me to use here. I'm pretty sure it's fire though. Yep. We melt 
points in my eyes. Very clever. use that much, but I'm just used to it by now. <laughs> Once again, I remember I try to work backwards from these. This goes here. Here. kids trying to play this game. <laughs> Legitimately, at least. Don't get too comfortable. I'm about to get serious. Good, he chose the easy one. Shiny Moltres. He turned into the fire elemental. Oh yeah, this is the one that sucks, because you just get hurt. So obviously we need to use the fire mental the uh, the elemental on this one. I see the weather inside and I'm like, don't do it, weather, don't do it. We're gonna take some damage on the way there, but we're going to have to. Alright, water elemental, here we come. Flames! Run around, hit the on button. Go straight here. Um... That's not what I saw happen in my mind. That's not good. Well, poop. Flame crower. No weather, no, 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 no. Stop it, weather, stop it. There we 
Rika. Minimal hits. Let's try this again. At least we know it works. this last time and I fucked it up. There. You know what I just realized? I... I'm an idiot. I used the wrong... I used the wrong magic circle. I was supposed to beat it up with those thousand, thousand fold arms. Oh, so dumb. I'm so dumb. I just want to. I'm so. It doesn't help that the lightning and the thunder is making me nervous. Get to see more Chubby Dragon, it's okay! <laughs> yeah. Chubby Dragon is the best. I remember seeing uh, Chubby Water Dragon for the first time, and I just fell in love. I do like the idea of the elementals, and uh... And their designs and everything. I also like the the idea of fighting elementals with elementals. I just hate that I'm so stupid that I can't figure out the game mechanics. Oh gosh. See, if this were Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, the game would have been completed in like an hour. Because because I'm, I'm much better at those games than I am with this one. Chubby Water Dragon, here we come! It's our favorite! I like how you can see that it even gets less chubby as it spews the water. Just be really smart with this, all right? Straight forward. We hit the on button, and we hit the thousand-fold thing. There we go. There we go. This should be it. And if it's not, I will scrim. I will scrim. Also, something tells me this is not the end. You surpassed the power of my superior folded paper. Brother, are you okay? You must be exhausted. Using even one elemental form can be... Shut it! I don't need your pity. I folded you so we could turn this flat world into an origami kingdom. You betrayed me and allied yourself with the paper peasants. Hey, don't you see, Olivia? We're both, both origami. Why are you fighting me? Because with the power of friendship, Ollie, 
we are origami, but this isn't what we were made for. We both started as simple sheets, but we had souls folded into us. We were made with love. Love of art, love of creation, love for life itself. That's what origami is all about. We should be friends with all paper beings. If there is no love in our hearts, or if there is love in our hearts... You're lecturing me about love? Was there love in the heart of that paper toad who scribbled all over me? We're nothing alike. That flat, flimsy fool. We were folded for greatness. I should have known you wouldn't understand. How could you? I made you too perfect. Too pure. It's a mistake I'll soon correct. Here, Olivia. Let me show you the true power of origami. Yeah, we knew it wasn't over. But also, what's happening? It just keeps unfolding! What's happening? What do we do? I was say, is he gonna make himself into the final crane? Oh no! The totes! And then he'll like... Oh, what? Oh no. Oh no. Looks like someone ordered a stupid looking boss! <laughs> Oh no. Look around you, Olivia. I'm folding the very fabric of reality. Origami embodies the limitless power of transformation. With this power, I shall rid the world of all pathetic, paper-thin beings. But you're also made of paper. You think we're gonna roll over just because you puffed up your chest and got all weird looking? I've had enough of you and your bad haircut. It's go time. Bowser, wait! That was very, uh, intimidating speech. But he's too powerful here. He'll crumple you for sure. Ollie was right. This place is made of pure origami power. It strengthened him, so it could strengthen you too. Let me fold you! Okay. <laughs> Bowser's like, I didn't give consent! Or are we gonna get, uh, 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 Mario 64- Yeah, 64 Bowser. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I love it. Nice work, Origami Girl. He's so- He's- He's got the bowed, dude. Look how bowed he is. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna show this paper pusher how a real final boss fights. This guy's tougher than he looks. I might need some backup. Whoa, where did all these magic circles come from? Let's use these. If we slam the ground with the thousand fold arms, we can give Bowser an advantage. When Bowser needs a magic circle, run behind him and use it to summon the thousand fold arms. If Bowser shifts to a different spot, press B to cancel your attack and switch the mag magic circles. Magic circle vanished. I guess they don't last very long. Do you ever stop meddling? These should keep you busy. Cool. That's just what I needed. Thank you, Bowser. Bowser's actually like super freaking helpful right now. Come on. Oh yeah. There. Okay, so we can jump on them. I like how this is like a- the final boss battles is just a origami sumo battle. Nice. Gone for like two minutes and come back to Bowser kissing the final boss! They're doing an origami sumo battle. 
Ooh, ow, that hurt. Oh look, he's almost there, he's almost there, he's almost got him out of the ring. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm sorry, I'm coming! Don't lose, don't lose! Oh, he's about to push him out. I got you, buddy. I got you! Push him out! I will not be bitten by this bouncing blowhard. To me, my folded soldier. Which one? Oh... No. Whoa! A big angry face? Where did that thing come from? You better act fast. Slam the ground as many times as you can before it falls and crushes us. Good thing I have crack hand thumbs! You got beat by a paper powerhouse! Eat gravity, you jerk! No, oh, curse you! So did he die? Aww, I'm so proud of him. And his big belly. I can't believe it. I know there was goodness in him, but Ollie chose to hate flat paper pings to the bitter end. Goodbye, brother. I hope we meet again someday. I, I didn't think that was the end either. <gasps> no! No! Fluffy Bowser, no! <laughs> I will not allow this. I will crush you. All of you. Oh no. My brother's way too big. He can't stop him like this. Oh, wait! I was wondering what he gave her. That origami craftsman gave me something special before we left his workshop. It's time to use it. Is it a pair of scissors? Is it a really big pair of scissors? Is it a flamethrower? What is happening? Another magic circle? <laughs> Pathetic. What do you hope to do? Slap my wrist with those feeble arms of yours? See, I'm terrified of dying now because I don't want to go and do this all over again. Like the last fight. I would say, how much you want to bet? I have to, I have to... Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> Guys, I'm bad at these. No! What the... Why? I don't even want to press any of the buttons. Oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna die. Guys, we're gonna die. <laughs> my anger, my rage, it's turned into a deadly poison rising up from below. You'd better act fast. If that gas reaches this platform, it will be the end of you. No! No! Hurry, Mario, we can't have to fix this jumbo-sized magic circle as fast as we can. So light blue goes on left, dark blue goes on. Five, four, three, two, one, what? 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 What's happening? What? Okay, so I have to deal with rising gas and him being a jerk. So we have to get them, I assume, all in the same pieces. Really, again? This is the worst. And I have 14 seconds left. Guys, I think I'm gonna die. I'm like 80% sure I'm gonna fucking die.
What up, mushroom? What up, mushroom? Help? Help? <laughs> oh, it's his try again. It's his try again. Wait. Please, 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 Nintendo, please, please. For the love of everything that is holy, you have to. You have to start me out there. After the sumo fight. Okay, good. I was like, I will, I will go insane. I wonder if he insta-kills you if he, if he hits you, or you just get hurt. wrong. Something's wrong. Something's off. It's these. Uh. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> no, I hate these. I'm so bad. Why would you? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I punched you guys. I punched the microphone. Why? Why would you? Why would you put the contingency of a final boss battle into something like this? At least give the players more time. We get like no time at all. We can't skip the dialogue either. It's like that bullshit with the. Uh... Is it giving us more time each time we die? Do you notice that? Is that just me? I think it gives us more time the more time uh, we times we die. Oh, and you did it differently there, too. Are you multitasking? It's okay, I figured it out. No, I didn't. Shoot, 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 shoot. Do it, do it, do it! <laughs> what? You think I'll allow this? I'll make this magic circle as useless as scrap paper. Don't do it again. Don't ho, don't do it. Ow. No! Okay, that's not too bad. Don't. Don't. Don't you. Don't. Don't. No, no, I'll squirm with this sigil over and over until you admit defeat. Oh my gosh, these quick time events. You. Finally. Oh my gosh, you did it, Mario! We can finally use the magic circle! The Ormigami craftsman gave me one final folding technique, and it's our only chance of stopping Ollie. Please tell me this is the end. I don't want to do this anymore. 
It's like it's like the quiz show. It's like I if this was cool for a split second, the gimmick's over. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, it's a mega hammer. She is a hammer. Much like there is a bell, she is a hammer. Wow. Okay. Brother, please, come to your senses. Otherwise, I'll have to smash your brains in. Okay, now is he actually dead? Did we kill him this time? Because the last time that happened, he didn't die. And then this happened. something on his belly that's why that's why he wanted to kill all of the non origamis is because he has an Audi belly button confirmed I'm sorry brother I had no choice oh, but you're hey I said give me two hours it's only been almost an hour okay chill chill oh, but your poor body is all crumpled now Maybe I went too far. It's okay, we can put them in the- we, Apparently we can just throw people into spas and they're fine. No, Olivia. A hammer attack was divine. I put everything into it. And it was enough to awaken me from this dark dream. I was too proud, too entitled. My heart was blinced. My path was creased. I was a mess. Wait. What's this on your belly? Oh. <coughs> it hurts to move. But that's the cause of all of this madness. The careless scroll that Toad marked me with. It says... Dick butt. I'm just kidding. Read it for me, will you? I must know what's written there. Words or gibberish mark the foolish body. Please, I could use one last laugh. Okay, um, let's see. Dearest Ollie, may you grow into a fair and kind king. Oh, It's not just a scribble. It's a very sweet message from the origami craftsman. He just wished you the best as a new king. Oh god, I've been a terrible king. To think, this is how I repaid his kindness. I just became so blinded by rage. I did so many unforgivable things. I'm so sorry that Princess Peach and Mario became caught up in all of this. something you must do for me. Please accept these 999 cranes and then fold my body into the thousand. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. When the last fold is complete, you will gain the ability to have any wish granted. I don't suppose it will make up for everything that I've done, but it's all I have left. I'm begging you, Olivia. Do this for me. Damn. Damn. <laughs> We've seen how many dude, we should have had uh, I have to make like a murder counter for these types of games, man, because how many people have we sh have straight up been murdered in this game? Especially since they're like, "Oh yeah, once you're folded, you can't you can't turn them back so you just have to kill them and then their bodies will explode into shrapnel that you use to, to repair the earth like how how many how far we've come to the end but at what cost brother Mario I have something to confess I'm a furry 
Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to fold a crane. Maybe Ollie could have taught me. After all, he folded the whole cast and even me. But look at him now. Is the is the castle falling apart? Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. Hey guys, I hope I didn't miss too much. I found the origami craftsman. Maybe he can talk Ollie out of all the nonsense, right? Because he's the one who originally folded him. Oh, buddy. Buddy, I got bad news for you. Ah, uh, yes. I remember this paper well. Such a lovely royal purple. And Olivia, so good to see you making use of the giant hammer technique I folded into your design. Wait. There are an awful lot of cranes here. Has one of you attempted the Forbidden Thousand Crane technique? Yes, but I promise I won't use it for evil. Can you teach me how to fold the last crane? I want to fulfill my brother's final wish and complete the thousandth crane myself. Very well. I will teach you. I suppose all this trouble is my fault in a way. After all, I was the one who originally folded your brother. This will be my last fold of life. Then, Olivia, prepare to fold as you've never folded before. Well done. With that, the technique is complete. You may make your wish, Olivia. Okay. My wish? My wish. Thousandth Crane, grant me my wish. May all of the origami folded by my brother be undone. Oh no! Olivia, no! That means you die! Olivia! No! I knew it was gonna be some bullshit like that, but I didn't want it to be true! This is a really beautiful cinematic scene, but no, Olivia! If she was just a little more specific than she could have lived. I know! I thought she was gonna she was gonna wish for her brother back to life and then he would fix all of this. Because if he had all the power to make it, he can unmake it, right? But no, she just she took the harsh way out. What the F? Oh my gosh, Princess Peach. My goodness, what are we all doing here? Princess Peach, you're back to your old self. Wahoo! Wait, we're missing someone. Where is Olivia? She fucking dead, yo. She dead. Wow, we're not even we're not even going to acknowledge the fact that she just sacrificed herself. We're just like that bird is really far away. Well, welcome to the Origami Festival. How origami are you? I'm so happy that everything's back to normal. Toad Town is bustling with an origami festival. Everyone's discovering the magic of origami and having fun. I forgot what voice I used for her. Oh. That's so cute. Go 
never did get inside that house. <laughs> I love the, like, Koopa's doing the Will Smith. There's Birdo. Oh, hey! DJ Toad. Ah, oh, Mario, Peach, come, take a look at my masterpiece. It's finally finished. You see? It's a miniaturized origami castle, just like the one Ollie made. And the thrones sit empty. Mario, are you thinking about the origami girl who saved me? She was so brave to do what she did. We owe her everything. Um... I just know she's with us in spirit. I wish I could thank her. Meanwhile, oh, gather around everyone, it's time for the big finale. It's gonna be like, meanwhile Mario's like, what the, what the hell? I'm right here, I literally, I did all of this for you. To all the origami, thank you. And then the paper lanterns, cute. But seriously, Mario's like, what do you mean she, she's helped you? Did you not see everything I did? You tried to kill me! And, and be a part of this origami cult! What the- what- what? And then, Mario never got that kiss. The end. Mario's finally realizing he's just a simp, yeah. That's why he just stays silent. Not enough bed sniffing? Yeah. Uh, well, th this is the thing. I don't know if there's post-game stuff. I don't know if it's like... The, the original Paper Mario games, where once you beat the game, a bunch of stuff unlocks afterwards. Or if it's like older games, where, or newer games, sorry, uh, where you just continue from the boss battle, which would be really stupid in this case. But but that's why that's why I'm, I'm withholding any judgments or, or or reviews at the moment because I wanna I wanna see how they do things because they literally did not that would otherwise this was a very unsatisfying ending. If this is just it. There's no post-game, there's no post-credit scene, there's no explanations. Like, nope, she died. Every, she died. Everybody died at some point in the game. So sad. I will say that... So far, this is a this is a pretty lackluster uh, ending credit scene, though. Again, compared to to all the the previous Paper Mario's, uh, where their their ending credit scenes were pretty dynamic. It wasn't just a simple scroll. Um, but yeah, yeah well, we'll see. HD Rumble. <laughs> Martinet as the only Mario and sometimes Luigi. Sound supervisor Koji Kondo and Megumi Inoue? No wonder the music's so good. say as this is scrolling I feel like because origami is not is, is is a very specific Japanese thing and it has a lot of like Japanese mythos uh, and 
just it's it's this beautiful art form. And so like that's that's what this game is trying to emulate. But I feel like oh look at the desk. I feel like it this this would be lost on non-Japanese native like or people who understand the art of origami. Cause it does kind of make the make the plot come together a lot better if you understand it. Uh I feel like, meanwhile, like, there's people who know what origami is. They're like, oh yeah, it's just when you fold paper into little things. But, like, that's the basis of what they know. And they're like, yeah, it's just a paper gimmick. So that makes me appreciate it a little more, but I feel like it's lost on a lot of people. Auto save, and that's another thing it auto saves. So, okay. Does the opening title screen change at all? Because it sort of just scrolls through. Well, it looks the same to me. Okay. I'm just gonna wait a second. No, it's it's the same. Oh no, Peach is there now. Okay. I already see the preview and I'm not happy. We're just gonna... I'm gonna pull one of those right now. <laughs> Please let this not be what I think it is. Please, I don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to us, Nintendo. The new gallery is open at the Musée Champignon. So... Okay, it's, mmm, mmm, all right, all right, so, mmm, <laughs> I have a lot of feelings right now. That was, I, I guess, that was Paper Mario and the Origami King. Uh... <sighs> In a way, I guess, there's post-game content, and even then I'll have to check that out to really understand what that entails. Otherwise, that's it. Story-wise, because Olivia's still alive and we're right at the castle gate. Or not the gate, castle gate, but we're right before the boss battle. Which is the exact thing I said I didn't want to happen. See, this game was so good. It was so good. And then, the, like, the last dungeon happened. And as soon as we, like, started the last dungeon, I feel like it just completely dropped off there. Which is really, really disappointing. Because this game was so good up until literally the very end. And, and usually I try not to make, like, bad endings affect the the overall greatness of the game and this is the thing is this a bad game absolutely not some people may think that just because it's so different um and people are people are still hurt from the the past ones believe me i've played sticker star it's so much better than this or that um so like but i'm, I'm very disappointed in the ending i will say that it it, it really hits home in a very bad way, because they, the, well, for one thing, the, again, like I said, the dungeon, the last dungeon, super rushed. Like, you go right through it, and then go straight to the final boss battle. Which is not, it's not, like, not fun. It's not fun. And it's not a fun little dungeon either, it's just, you get through it, boom, you're done. There wasn't even that many puzzles, there wasn't that many, like, you think they would throw a lot more enemies at you too, since they 
talk about the the puzzle style battle mechanics they like you think they throw more stuff at you dealing with that or maybe like a new like one new enemy specifically in this castle but that's not the case it's literally just like okay go through the castle and you're there like really he he he's he's that full of himself to where he's just gonna let you walk right in kind of and slightly obstructed your your way to him like I like it ends with her like wishing that everything was undone and that was literally it that was the ending there was there was no like and the, even the, even the credits were super short like is that really is that really the amount of people who worked on this game because if it is then it, and in reality it's an amazing game because th that was not a lot of people credited. Ergo, there are not a lot of people worked on this game. Then in that case, this would be a great game. Um, they didn't have like hundreds of thousands of people, like say for a AAA game, where if, if, they, if they did have that many people, this would be an outrage. But if they honestly didn't have a big team, this isn't bad. Overall, before I continue with stuff, I would say that this game is a solid seven out of 10. It's definitely not an 8, but it's definitely not a 6. Uh, it's a solid 7. The game is enjoyable up until the very end. There's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff I still need to do with the game. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. Hello everyone. I am sorry for the abrupt ending. Um, uh, most of my, definitely all of my playthroughs will not and so abruptly uh but i just wanted to thank you guys so much this is the finale this is it for paper mario the origami king yes i am aware that there is quote unquote an extended ending they extended it for maybe 0.45 seconds it's really not that big of a deal uh look it up on youtube if you have to um it happens when you 100% the game, and I did, and I got the ending and everything, and it was just e even more disappointing. <laughs> so um, I, I figured uh, there's no point in putting it up, and I, I really didn't have any commentary or anything when I did all of that. Um, and like I said, uh, despite the ending being very anticlimactic, it was a very enjoyable game, and I had so much fun uh, playing it with everybody on stream. And again, thank you so much for watching this playthrough, one of my one of my very first and many on here. So please look forward to more. They're going to be a lot more polished than this. I won't be uh, streaming during thunderstorms anymore, that's for sure. But otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one. All right. Until then. Bye, guys.